so she has a, just kind of talk about a, a little bit about what the numbers were that we saw today and, and what I guess um, you know, the university means to the region when it comes to, I guess, you could say the most important thing, which is the bottom line, dollars and cents. Well, the, the, the big number we saw today was the $671 million economic impact annually that this university has on the region. That's counting all three campuses, Wausau, Marshville, and Stevens Point. Uh, this is really important uh, for our region. Uh, it's uh, a contribution to the region that uh, is critical to our success as a region. Uh, we are probably the number one driver in workforce development. We produce uh, somewhere around 1,200 to 1,500 graduates a year, all feeding into the workforce. Uh, three years after they graduate, 92% of the students are still in this region uh, working and contributing to their communities. Yeah, that's that's really, I guess, the thing that kind of struck me the most. And, and you bring these people in here no matter where they're from, chances are they not only are they going to hang around here for you know four years, three years, they're going to hang around here a few years thereafter. Right? Exactly, well. exactly. We recruit about 20% of our uh, students from a five-county region. But after they graduate, about 40% of our students remain uh, locally. So at, uh, at uh, two years out, 92% are still here. Uh, contributing. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, you t the other number that you, you kind of talked about, this is a uh, 6,000 jobs created in Wisconsin. Over 6,000 jobs. Over 6,000 jobs created in Wisconsin. Now that doesn't mean, you know, just the people you're hiring. On oh, no, campuses. absolutely not. We have about a, uh, about uh, 1,500 employees, but we're creating, because of the uh, economic activity that we generate, over 6,000 jobs in the communities. Mm -hmm. and, and what does that mean then for the communities as well? Oh, that helps drive the communities. That helps uh, the, develop the economic strength of our region. And so that's that's important. So then what, why, I mean, what do all these numbers mean then for you know, just the regular residents in Wausau, Marshfield, Stevens Point? Why, why is this information they excited about? Well, particularly in Wausau and Marshfield, uh, these campuses are partnerships with local government. And so it's helpful for us all to understand the contributions th these campuses make to the local economy. Because uh, if you're a taxpayer in Wausau or a taxpayer in Marshfield, you're helping support these campuses. And so it's good to understand what you're getting back in return, and it is significant. The other thing that was talked about a little bit here, and in fact, I think it's on the uh, the map behind you right now, is the uh, the impact that alumni have as well, because those are people that are coming back to the campus yes. you know, once every so often. And yes. it was discussed here, you know, just what that means even just for a college football game and things like that. People come back and yes. and they return to that region. Yes, yes. And I was just talking to some, to some uh, friends here this afternoon, and uh, they have siblings that want to come back now and retire uh, in, in Wisconsin, because this is where they grew up. And so, welcome home. Yeah, absolutely. So it's something that, you know, the whole region should, should hang their hat on, the whole region should be, should be uh, thankful for, correct? Yeah, absolutely. And one more thing to ask you then before we let you go. You talked about it a little bit there at the end. In fact, you called me out a little bit as well as, <laughs> as the media here. Uh, so, you know, I was paying attention during the lecture, but, uh, <laughs> Talk about Good. just exactly what happened in as far as the budget goes, because the UWSP campus in Stevens Point, I, I don't know if I want to say you feel a little slighted by it, but you're not getting exactly what you thought you would. Is that correct? Well, uh, the uh, operating budget uh, that Joint Finance uh, approved uh, a couple of weeks ago uh, was disappointing. It absolutely was disappointing. We had understood it was going to be one thing, and it turned out to be something quite different. And so, uh, now the system, in terms of the capital budget, uh, system-wide, yes, that's good news. A billion dollars of, of, of uh, spending on capital projects, that's wonderful. From the Stevens Point perspective, we had two projects that we thought deserved some uh, greater consideration. That didn't happen. And, and just kind of briefly describe what those projects were, because I understand one of them is a project that the students had actually been looking forward to in fundraising for themselves. The, the, the Wellness Center was the project uh, 
that the students had voted on to, to pay for themselves. So it's going to be paid for totally by student fees. Uh, so there's not a single tax dollar uh, involved in building uh, that wellness center for our students. Uh, so we think uh, that should have been given uh, mm -hmm. careful, or more consideration. Yeah, absolutely. And then the other project that you talked about actually is kind of a campus safety issue as well because of, you have a, a certain building that doesn't exactly meet fire code right now. Is that correct? Well, it, it, it passes the fire inspection or we wouldn't okay. be occupying it. Right. Uh, but the infrastructure in Albertson Hall is uh, between 40 and 50 years old. And we have serious concerns about the fire suppression system uh, in that building. Uh, it is flooded in the basement uh, recently. Uh, you got within feet, just a few feet of the IT uh, hub, uh, not only for our campus, but for Central Wisconsin, because the area, local area network, passes through that that building. Uh, so if you're getting your your uh, internet service uh, through that network, and if that network goes down, uh, you're offline, and that includes the City of Stevens Point Police Department, the City of Stevens Point Fire Department and the Portage County Sheriff's Department would be offline in terms of the internet uh, if, that, uh, if that basement floods. So what I'm hearing there, I mean, that's not just a project for you. I mean, that's a public safety that's project. That's a project for the community. That's a community project. Right? Absolutely. So uh, how, how far, I guess, behind, obviously, now these projects, if they don't make the final budget? Well, what, it's another your... two-year delay. Uh, this will be uh, six years now that this project has been deferred. Okay. So exactly what is your what is your plan going forward with this? Because obviously the budget's not finalized. Is there a chance do you think that this, you know, some of these could still make the final Well, it, it's, every, anything's possible. I know that. But uh, uh, significant changes in the budget after the Joint Finance Committee uh, uh, approves it are not as likely. Mm -hmm. So uh, just exactly, um, you know, what, what do you want uh, residents to do then? I mean, obviously you talked a little bit about uh, drumming up some support for this project some way or yes. other, word of mouth. Or well, you know, you can always it. call your representative mm -hmm. uh, and you can go online and find out who they are uh, and their contact information very easily at the state legislature website. Uh, but it's Alperson Hall, um, the Stevens Point campus, and the Student Wellness Center. That would serve all our students. Absolutely. Anything else that you'd like us to know then from what was discussed here today? Well, we are excited about the future. We're excited about bringing together our three campuses. Uh, we're just about finished with the complete integration of all three campuses. Uh, people have worked really hard. And they're excited about what's coming next year. Uh, new degrees programs coming here, nine new degree programs, six new associate degrees, two new baccalaureate degrees, and an MBA. Uh, and Walsall and Marshall. Uh, these are exciting times for our region and for our university.